Okay. You own the institute? That's cool, yes. dude. Really cool. So, uh, do you then? How old are the students? Are they um, adults or are they kids? Most like uh, student behavior has gotten like really, really bad, especially since the pandemic. Why? Like, especially like in the younger kids, uh, they will like hit and kick the teachers and yell and swear and not get in trouble. Hi there. Hello, it's good to see you. My name is Julia. Nice to meet you as well. So, how are you doing today? So, I'm doing really good. How about you? I'm doing awesome. Yeah, I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Was it a good day? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, oh, actually, what time are you? Did you say good morning? Yeah, it is good morning. Yeah, it is 8.32 a.m. in the morning. Are yeah. you in uh, India I'm, or Saudi Arabia? Yes, I'm in India. I'm getting ready for my work. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's uh, 7.02 p.m. in uh, where I am. Okay, where are you? I'm in Seattle. So, like, you know where Seattle is? I don't know. First time I'm hearing this name. Seattle? Is yeah. Is in England? Um, it's in the U.S. Uh, so like, uh, if like, okay, so say this was the U S and this was mm -hmm. Canada right above us. And this was Mexico, New York would be here. Yeah. California and Los Angeles would be here. And I okay. am right here. Kind of close, pretty oh. close to Canada. Okay. I'm in very close to uh, Los Angeles or Pennsylvania, like, right? So Pennsylvania, um, Pennsylvania would be somewhere over here. So Pennsylvania and New York are somewhat close. I'm somewhat close to Los Angeles. It would be a couple days drive. Like Los Angeles is maybe around here. Mm -hmm. And then from here to there, be about a couple days drive. But Seattle, okay. uh, do you have like, uh, do you have Starbucks where you are? Yeah, yeah. That's what Seattle is famous for. Starbucks came from Seattle. So you are originally from there, right? Yeah, actually, I've lived there all my life. How about you? Are you close to home? Uh, right now, in my home, right. Uh, I'm living in eastern part of India. The name of city is Darbhanga. Like, like it is situated in one of the states of B uh, India that is called Bihar. So yes, uh, I have been living here almost. I have lived here till uh, so far in my life. But yes, I have traveled a bit in India and other parts of the world, like not far from India, like just a one neighbor country in Nepal so far. But now I want to travel internationally. Oh, where do you want to travel? I, I, have, not, I have not planned yet. Okay, so like I'm kind of a, a spontaneous person. Just I would, I would love to hit the road whenever I would get a chance. So I don't have any plan or bucket list in my mind. But yes, definitely, I'm very enthusiastic about traveling. Recently, I have been to Nepal. Just I have visited few, like capital city of Nepal, Kathmandu, and I came back. So next year, I mean, uh, on the occasion of New Year, I'm going to travel any new places. Yeah, I am not sure so far that where I'm gonna next. Is that your New Year's resolution? Uh, no, I don't. I'm kind of person who do not take resolution because every day is kind of resolution for me. So I, I just try to make every day different from other day. Uh, but yeah, you can say yes, it's my hobby. Like, you know, I always start new year with something new. Uh, I always start my day with something new. So yeah, that's a, a not resolution, but just a kind of flow. Yeah, I love going with really? flow of life you know like uh if you do uh you know how people say uh time passes faster for you when you're an adult versus when you're a kid when you're a kid time passes slowly because you have all these new experiences so the more things you do as an adult it the more it feels like you have more time you know it makes time go slower it's a cool way to live it's, it's something i want to incorporate in my own life to so do more new things yeah, life is full of adventures. Life is full of beauty. As far as I could see the life, I don't know about the world, right? So it's up to us, like how we are perceiving the life, how we are looking at it. 
what how, how what is our glasses like you know it's everybody has different glasses and they look the world and different through their own glasses so yes that's how i feel okay i would love to know about your hobbies like tell me a little bit about your hobbies what do you like to do absolutely okay so uh i'm trying to think these days um what time have i had like okay so when i'm not doing uh cambly my main job is um i'm a substitute teacher and so i'm like uh i come into like uh like uh when the regular teacher gets sick, I will teach for that teacher. And so some days I'm teaching little kids. Some days I'm teaching like high schoolers and middle schoolers. It just changes depending on the day. But these days, like uh, whenever I teach, I get so exhausted that I go to sleep right away when I come home because it's so tiring. And so I'm trying to think like, what am I doing besides sleeping with my days? I think one of my favorite things to do is um, uh, I like to take walks in my neighborhood. I like being outside, whether it's like uh, playing sports or just hanging out. So long as I'm outside, I'm really happy. That and um, I love making music like uh, piano, guitar, ukulele. I bought an electric guitar this year. I'm really excited about it. Okay, great. Like, I don't know how to play guitar, but I'm very fond of it. It's like, I would like to learn how to play guitar. Yeah. It's a good, it's good music, you know? The, I started on ukulele because my, because my hands are small and there's only four mm -hmm. strings. It's not very hard, but uh, with the guitar, it's the same sort of, you know, same sort of style, but like, it's, uh, you have to, like stretch your fingers more and there's six strings, but you only have like four fingers you can use on them. So it's a little bit harder, but it pays off because the sound is so good. And then other than that, I'm mostly just like watching movies and TV and stuff. I've got a lot of hobbies that I'm trying to do. Like I'm trying to learn how to uh, rollerblade still, but it's taking a while. The problem is finding the time. Well, what do you want to learn? I want to learn how to rollerblade. The problem is finding the time for it. I don't it. know. Oh, what roller is blade? It, rollerblade? Let me see. Let me uh, pull it up here. Roller. Where are the rollerblades? These ones. Oh, I got it. Okay. I, yeah. oh, I know it. Oh, do on roads like you are on the snows like lots of people love to do in you know, snows in your country because they it has snows a lot in america I, in england or america mm -hmm. skating yeah rollerblading is really just a type of skating like um there are some skates that have like four wheels and then rollerblading is the specific type when it's just a line of wheels like a blade almost a little bit like ice skates. How about you? What are your favorite hobbies? Uh, my hobbies are like uh, I love to travel. I love to listen to audiobooks uh, most of the time. And I don't have any work, then I just love to sit silently without doing any work. Yeah, these are my hobbies. Yeah, I also, whenever I have free time, I love to play cricket. So it is my favorite game that I play. And these are a few of my hobbies. And let me tell you, I'm also a teacher here in India. I, I own institute and I'm also a teacher at my own institute. So I teach you, chemistry. Subjects. You own the institute? That's cool. Yes. Dude, really cool. So uh, do you, then how old are the students? Are they um, adults or are they kids or teenagers? They're te teenagers. Like uh, they are from 12 to 17. 16, 17, yeah, like that. So they, they're teenagers. Dude, what inspired you to start your own institute? That's really cool. Uh, like, you know, a few years back in 2017, I had started my institute. I, I wanted to become my own boss. I wanted to earn money and I was looking for a skill set. So I found teaching is the best skill set in me and I started uh, like exposing myself with the circumstances. And I overcame it, and now uh, I've established institute. Wow, that's cool. And were you already uh, 
did you already do a lot of chemistry? Like, did you major in chemistry uh, when you went to college? Yeah, I have done my MSc. Yes, I have done my master's in chemistry. That's cool. What made you, when did you first realize how much you liked chemistry? I think uh, in grade 9 or 10th, yeah. When I was in grade 9 or 10th, I found it is the subject I'm inclined towards. And since then, I have been, you know, working on it. That's cool, dude. Okay, tell me, how are the kids when you teach? How are they, like, uh, behavior-wise? Uh, behavior-wise, mischievous, bit mischievous, like, because, you know, understand, this is, adolescent is, uh, and uh, influence of hormones. So, yeah, they are mischievous, but uh, it's funny, yeah. I, I, good I love teaching. Are they good students? Like, uh, do they interrupt you a lot, or do they um, ever argue in class, or uh, do they do their work? I know, like, uh, still students are disciplined here, but uh, uh, I think over a few years, things have changed now. Students are becoming different kind of rebellious. It is not positive rebellious, you know. So I could see it, but few students are very good, it's like they uh, are very conscious. They love to ask questions, engage with me. So yes, uh, yeah, there are different types of students in class and yeah, we have to handle according to them. In the US, uh, it's like uh, kind of well known. Amongst teachers, it's well known, but it's starting to become well known in the news that uh, most like uh, student behavior has gotten like really, really bad especially since the pandemic right. like uh, yeah it's like um like uh especially like in the younger kids uh they will like hit and kick the teachers and yell and swear and not get in trouble because uh like it's it's a whole thing where like um the uh the principals want to make money for the school and the way they make money is by uh, is by saying uh, like, hey, we have really good uh, test scores. All the students are doing really well. And they also want to please the parents. And so if a parent gets upset, then uh, they kind of they would not they whatever they can money. to please the parent. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And so like whenever I get uh, home from teaching. Yeah, the same trend is going in India right now because the students are becoming, I told you, like negative, rebellious, like kind of, you know, agitated. They verbally abuse teachers sometimes, like, oh, but not yeah. physically. Huh? All the time in the U.S. too, yeah. Yeah, like it is it is a trend and it is uh, taking place in all over the world, but India is a little slower than the U.S. because it is a still developing country. So that's why, you know, teachers are safe for the moment. But I could see five years down the line, 10 years down the line, your same thing would happen in India. So there is no doubt about it, right? So it's uh, about the society and uh, the influence of social media that we are giving to these kids. And it's not their fault. Like, yeah, we are not able to regulate social media. We are not monitoring everything rightly. And that's what influences yeah. them to become such... Uh, kind of mindset, you know, the wild mindset. Yeah, and like uh, the like TikTok. Do you guys have TikTok in India? Uh, it has been banned three or four years ago in India. Yeah, so kind no of a good more thing. TikTok, but instead. Oh, we only have four minutes. Hey, I really like to talk. 